You see all the van life photos, you watch all the van tours, but do you wonder what this nomadic lifestyle is all about? Are you curious about life on the road? Social media calls it hashtag van life. We call it home. I'll ask 10 questions to get you the stories that you wanna hear from the people who live, work, and travel and adventure in this nomadic lifestyle. Welcome to Life on the Road. I mean, Kennedy. Come on. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> All right. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Welcome to another episode of Life on the Road, where I ask you 10 questions to get you the stories that you want to hear from her, Life on the Road. Welcome. Thank you. This is Thanks amazing. Thanks for having me. This is awesome. This is uh, a very pretty day and a very pretty spot. And so we're in a very pretty location. Pretty area. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, this worked out perfectly. I'm glad we get to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, we were crossing paths, found a nice camp spot, and this worked out great. So thank you. Yeah, of course. Thanks for this. meeting me. I love this. This is awesome. Uh, as we always start the show, tell us who you are, how long you've been on the road, and where you're from. <laughs> <laughs> and those are her children whining in the background. You probably can't hear them. Maybe you can, but yeah. They can hear them. We'll get, we'll get photos of them. Yes. Trust me. Right here. Let's, here, we'll do this real quick. <laughs> this is them whining back to you now. in the background. We'll just drop this in the video right now. Yeah. So, perfect. Um, Lovely. Exactly. Okay. So, who you are, where you're from, and how long you've been on the road. Okay. And then shamelessly promote yourself anywhere you want. We'll, we'll definitely do that. <laughs> um, I'm Elizabeth. I have been traveling for a little over a year now, and I am from San Diego, California. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and then Instagram, or where can people can find you? Yeah, so um, Instagram handle, really, I do um, Instagram mostly. It's at someday will be Sunday. At someday will, will be, be someday. someday. I like it. Yeah. Uh, where did you come up with that? Out of curiosity. Um, I saw your Instagram yeah, before. And I was like, okay. That's very interesting. Sundays. So I think Sundays are a really special day. Okay. And um, so to get by every day, someday will always be Sunday. That's, I, don't know. I like it's it. It's a really, yeah. I've never heard that before. Yeah, that's everybody like, asks. I'm yeah. like, it's a special day. I think Sundays should be a day that people just focus on themselves and take care of themselves and do what they love. I like it. Um, some people think it's a holy day. I think it's like, you Your know, day. It's a selfish day. It's a personal yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's important. No, I like it. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Um, time to learn about your life on the road. There you go. What was the beginning moment? Question one, what was the beginning moment, cause, or inspiration to live your life on the road? Yeah. Um, okay, so I have dealt with a lot of um, passing. Mm hmm um, a lot of very close, tragic passings. So I think the main reason I decided to hit the road is to learn more about myself and to okay. grieve, really, okay. just to grow as a okay. person. So maybe, and you had mentioned this to me before, was it growth or grief, maybe, that... Hello. Um, <laughs> can you come here and sit down with me? Come here. Okay. Bath. <laughs> and yeah. It's going to be coming in and out of the shop more Sorry. than likely this evening. Um, yeah. So I think with grieving comes growth. Yeah, of Naturally. Course. Yeah, yeah, So I honestly, I wasn't sure. I just knew that I was grieving and I just like needed an outlet. Okay. And um, I felt, I always do feel most connected with nature. Sure. So I was like, this was perfect for me. Okay. Um, when I'm stressed or uncomfortable or unhappy, yeah. I find myself in nature. Because you mentioned grieving and, and like trying to get in the van and trying to get out away from things and be alone while you yeah. needed to like grieve yeah I needed to learn how to grieve and I actually oh, had okay. like permission I gave myself permission to grieve mm -hmm. if that makes sense mm 
Um, and then once I did that, I finally um, gave myself permission to live the way I wanted to. Yeah. So every day for years on my screen, my computer screen was the back of a van. Okay. And I actually follow them this day. That's cool. Um, and they're the sweetest. They're, they, they're from overseas. Um, and I, I found them on Instagram. I'm like, oh my God, you're the back of your van is the backdrop of my computer as like a manifesting type of thing. That's really cool. Yeah. So, um, I always thought like, it's time. Okay. You know? Okay. And yeah. obviously these, you know, kind of tragedies and the things that have happened in your life was, was the moment you're like, okay, this is what I need to go. Um, yeah, I think that eventually once I went through so many losses, I think once in 2019, once that final one hit, yeah. um, it was a total yeah. shocker, life yeah. changer. Yeah, yeah, of course. Just my whole life just got ripped underneath yeah. me. And I felt like maybe this is the time for me to now take care of me and, sure. and give myself what I need and want. Yeah. And along came like, you know, learning and healing. So you, and you didn't actually start during the pandemic or right after that incident, you actually took some time. Yeah, I, some, I took some time to um, learn what how life happened so fast and like how what just happened yeah. Um, happened. Yeah. Um, the death of the person I loved with all my heart. Yeah, of course. Was immediately gone. Of course. So you go through all these crazy stages, which you don't know you're going through because you're going through them, but yeah. you can't really see a light, yeah. but you want to find one. Sure. Um, and and hold, grasping onto whatever you can is like so powerful. So in those years, I kind of lost who I was, learned who I was again, made a lot of mistakes, and then figured out like what I needed. Yeah. And then ultimately, like this van life or, or nomadic travel was in yeah. the back of your head the whole time. Oh, I mean, it's always been. Okay. But um, I always have a thing with putting people before me. Yeah. So what I did was please other people, but had this dream of like living the van life. Yeah. Since 2016, I was traveling all by myself all the time. Okay. Um, I actually had like a BMW 328i that I would just be like leaving and I would just cruise on in travel. Yeah. Um, I traveled across the country in it many times. Nice. And then I was like, it's free yeah, yeah. to be on the road. It's just like a sense I can't explain. It's just okay. like, I can breathe and live. And Well, I'm going to come back yeah. to that later okay. as we get further down okay. here. So, cause we've talked a little bit before, so I know a little story. Yeah. Uh, uh, question number two is what has been your experience with other nomadic travelers mm. while living your life on the road? Yeah, they are the most welcoming, warm hearted, um, understanding people that I've met. Mm -hmm. They could be any type of nomadic, mm -hmm. someone who's been doing it for years, someone yeah. who just started. Yeah. They're so welcoming. They allow me to feel, um, part of something. Mm -hmm. They're caring. Mm -hmm. um, they're so helpful. And the craziest thing is they don't hesitate to just, like, help. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Um, they want to welcome people in. It's been really comfortable and yeah. um, everything I need. Like, one big hug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, for sure. And obviously somebody that, you know, started out on the road with the thought of, you know, grieving or going through the, you know, grief process. Mm -hmm. That can be very comforting. Oh know, yeah, along the way, You're to not find alone. yeah to find a community that is very welcoming and very accepting. Yeah, um, especially for you know you just being you at the for end of the sure. day. For sure, and that's all we really want, mm -hmm. right? Be ourselves. Like it's so hard to be something else. Sure. It's so tiring, and like yeah. just being accepted for what you want and who you are is yeah. so important. And I have found that in this community nice. more than ever. Yeah, 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 even more so than like your days working and oh, one hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah. There's no like social competition. <laughs> it's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's no like, I have to worry about somebody not liking me yeah. or. Um, somebody dogging, like, like you know, trash talking. Right? Yes. Like that. It's not like that. Yeah. It's more like, For the most part. In. Well, <laughs> yes. I feel like those people who are like that kind of get weaved out. Yeah, I actually, that's actually a really great point. Right. I think ultimately the people that they're maybe talking to quickly realize, oh, well, yeah, that's not cool. Yeah, or that's not, like, that's, that's, that, that doesn't, that doesn't add vibe up. With like, our, yeah, exactly. With how we want to go. Are, right. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think that's very true. I think it does happen, but I think ultimately to your point, they weed themselves out For at sure. the end of the day. And, and people that are in this community see through that. Very 100%. Quickly. And very they quickly. don't want that either. No, like exactly. they want others to feel welcome and, yeah. you know, the more the merrier in mm -hmm. this community. Like mm -hmm. we're all in this together. And if you think about it, we're all very like minded people. For sure. And it's not the easiest lifestyle to live. It is so not. So if at we're all. all in this together and help each other, it's 
so much more reward. Yeah, it's so much better. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. And the community does that. That's exactly what, you know, I've stressed on the show kind of from day one is, you know, highlighting how great the nomadic community is. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, exactly. It's for everyone. It's for everyone from every walks of life, uh, from it's every, scary. I know, it's okay. <laughs> It's totally fine. Okay. I don't think there's anything in there. He's, I like, don't think he's going to do it. I think he's just being nosy. Yeah. No, okay. it's, it's totally fine. The dogs. The dogs are in the rig the right children. now. The children are in Althea and having all kinds of fun right now. Yeah. We'll find out. Exactly. Uh, question number three yeah. is what is your biggest failure and what has been your biggest triumph while living your life on the road? Oh, uh, okay. So I'm really not sure what my failure is yet. Honestly. That's okay. Um... Raising two spoiled dogs, maybe. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure. I actually don't feel as if I failed really on the road yet. I love that. Hopefully hopefully never. I'm not sure. Um, and honestly, my biggest triumph would honestly be um, accomplishing a year on my own. Like, yeah. legit on my own. Yeah, yeah. Like, all by myself. Yeah. I mean, it's huge. It's um, crazy huge. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean... And a lot of solo female travelers have expressed that as, you know, maybe not necessarily their biggest triumph, but then something that they're so proud of. Oh, for sure. Is the fact that, you know what? I thought I couldn't do this. And you know what? I fucking did it. And yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's huge. It's so empowering, especially for females. Because a lot of us, like, I and I, and I don't want to make it, I don't want to make it a gender thing because yeah, I no. feel the same way. Like, no, holy so fuck. Too. Like, I've been on the road a year. For I'm sure. so, like, proud of myself at the same time. 100%. So it's not necessarily like, I'm not saying, oh, it's only a, 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 applicable to solo female travelers. Right. But, like, every solo female traveler has referenced that on yeah. the show. I've been like, hey, I didn't think I could do this, but fuck, right. I did it, and man, I feel Dude, good. Dude, yeah, yeah, it's so empowering. It's like, wow, I'm really proud of myself yeah. for being able to like do that. I mean, a lot of people don't really understand van life's tough. It's not easy. You know, for and sure. you really gotta love who you are and learn to love loneliness. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm like, you're alone a lot. Mm-hmm. You're alone a lot. So when you can, I mean, especially as a female, like a lot of people are like, wow, females, you're alone. I'm scared for you. Yeah. You know, or like, wow, isn't it scary on the road? Yeah. If you think about it, like all that stuff is said to us, but yet we're still doing it. Yeah. Like, we could be like, wow, maybe it is. Maybe we shouldn't do this. You know, you absolutely could. So but, it is a big, but, but the, it's so funny. Like, I think the majority, I don't know, I've done 30 some odd shows now. Mm-hmm. The majority of shows have been solo female travelers that wasn't by design that just happens to be what it is like there's there are yeah there's tons of of solo female travelers that live nomadic lives which i love so much because i like live for those those inspiring females yeah of course it's huge especially right now so many people are like looking at all of us females not only the men obviously but females as well like wow we can do this yeah you know and yeah i mean again like it's 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 definitely an empowering you know uh feeling when you know you go through a hard moment or you go through a van breakdown or something happens and you you get through it oh you you feel like I got this. Yeah, exactly. Bring it on. Exactly. Like the first one I ever experienced, I was like, oh my God, how am I going to survive this? Yeah. This is heartbreaking. Like, let me stage. I might have a panic attack. Um, and then once it happened, I was like, all right, what's next? Yeah. You know not, what I mean? Not a big deal. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Uh, and no failures, which is amazing. No, I think, fa- I don't, I don't think any of us have failures. If you think about it. Yes. You know, like, I don't think, I think we have some like hard times. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But like failures, like I think it's a little bit extreme there. Okay. I like it. I love <laughs> the answer. Jack. I love the answer. Uh, question number four, did yeah. you start your life as a single person and what is it like living on the road as a single person? Yeah, I love, um, I did. I started my life as a single, single human, a female. Um, I was recovering from the loss of the love of my life. So, yes. Um, and then I I started dating a little bit on yeah. the road. Um, either guys are, like, intimidated by your lifestyle or, like, you're too independent okay. or they are so clingy. <laughs> They're so clingy that, like, 
you hate life. Okay. You know what I mean? So some very large extremes there. Oh, yes. yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, yes. dating on the road is fun. Dating on the road also can suck. It's, you know. It's fun? It's, Where is it fun? I, I mean, I'm not. <laughs> Let me hear the fun part. I, I've had fun dating on the road. No, I'm like, excited for you. It is what it is. But at the same time, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. They're either, like, turned off or they're like, okay, that's cool. Or I don't want to be around you because you're, yeah, too independent. I know. The children are <laughs> he has my having full, a ball. brand new full water bottle. He's, Have a great time. Yes, exactly. Okay. He's having his best he's life like, today. Crazy. Exactly. Okay. Um, yeah, no. But yeah, I started off single and I didn't come into it like, ooh, I can't wait to meet a dude. Like, yeah. no way. Man. Yeah. When I started, I was like, uh uh-uh. uh. I yeah. didn't even want to like say, hear the word hinge or anything. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Um, you know, once I got acclimated, I was like, all right, like, let's, let me try this out. Yeah. It just didn't really work in my favor. That's fair. Mm-hmm. And you've enjoyed single f- solo female travel. Yeah, I don't need a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying um, you do. Good Lord. No, yeah. Uh, uh, of course I've enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Yeah. That's, and. Leading into the next question. Well, yeah, the next question is question five. Best place or craziest place you've had sex during your life? Yeah. Life. Okay. So, wait, in van life? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for being in life. I was well, like, oh. No. In life, that's an easy one. All right. Van life. Van life. Okay. Well, I think I'm, guys, this is going to sound nuts, but I'm hoping this person has blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping they don't follow me. It is what Not it is. Not a good blocker, but. It, um, it is what it is. Um, I actually met a guy on Hinge, uh-huh. and we traveled from Colorado to um, the Dakotas. Yeah. Um, and we. Black Hills are a great spot. We had sex out there. There you go. Black Hills are amazing. It was great. Was it in the Black Hills? I mean, it was good. Or in, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That Never was, mind. Let's that was funny. That. It was great. It was fun. I hope people caught that. <laughs> the little play on words. It was very funny. Yes. Well said. Very well said. Black Hills, obvious location. I have some great locations there yeah. as well. It's a beautiful spot. Uh, yeah. No, I love the Black Hills. Yeah. It's the only reason to go east of Denver. I agree. Ever. Yeah. I mean. No, no. We, no, that's it. That's the only reason. <laughs> that's the only reason. Touche. I, I mean, it's the only reason why I want to go back east of Denver. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful spot. It is. If you haven't been to the Black Hills, highly recommend. Agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, question number six. How do you make money while living your life on the road? Yeah. So I own a company that does designing and branding and graphic designing um, and social media management. Nice. So I work. Yeah. Okay. I love what I do. Yeah. Because and it's so much freedom. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you work remote. Yes. You know, I work you can... remote. You know, I, I did try. I've had this company now for almost 11 years. Okay. And so I this was worked way remote. pre van yes. life. So I would, I lived in San Diego mm-hmm. and I would work from home. Okay. And so for me, I was like, this, I could go anywhere. Right. You know, so it helped out with my desire to do van life anyway. Gotcha. So mm-hmm. that was always kind of something until you were ready for it. You were ready for it, you know, like knowing that the job was set up for you. Totally. Like, you had set up the steps leading into it. It was Absolutely. just you getting around to it mentally. Yeah, it was just, like, pretty much me, like, having the balls to do it. To be honest with you. I had, like, vision boards with, like, RVs and, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like, campsites. And, like, I, I camped out all the time. I okay. just didn't, like, I literally gave up everything I owned. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, like, yeah. from my couch to my, you know, coffee maker. Yeah. Um, to my home to live like this. Mm. So I made a ballsy move. That's, I mean... We got to. We all did. All of us did. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think to any extent, your starting nomadic life, no matter what, takes a lot of courage. And is, you know, it's hard that first step. But, like, we, we, it's probably the most popular piece of advice given on the show is, like, just take the first step. You, well, like, that's just life. Start. Just start. It's, just do it. Yeah, just start. And then Mind once you do, the you find so much, you know, out here, uh, and and it gets it gives back to you, you know, tenfold. For sure. So, uh, well, I, one I, step in the right direction is worth like one hundred years of just thinking about it. I mean, you could sit at home and think about it all day, but if you actually true. take one step, it's like we did it. Yeah, you know? exactly. And then one goes to the next, and then like you know, things just start to fall into yeah. place. So I'm gonna ask my question here. Should oh, we give him a treat? If you want to. <laughs> Do we dance for them? While I... <laughs> I'm going to just sit here and like, you're going to have to run because it'll, we're literally going to just wait for you to return because I'm not editing anything at this point. So. I'm running. Can you hear me running? <laughs> Your mic's still on, I know. so What's they can running? definitely hear you. <laughs> okay. We got to hurry up. Okay. 
We're giving the children a dog treat because they're whining. Okay. She has two beautiful dogs, and we will highlight them in a little slideshow right here. Uh, they're amazing, actually. I'm on my way. Oh, this is awesome. I love it. I wish we could have like filmed you running in this journey that you had. Yeah, now you're walking. Uh, okay, she's back. I'm back. So I'm going to use this question and I'm going to use this to kind of talk about what you and I have talked about before that maybe doesn't, none of these questions relate, but I think it does relate to this a little bit. Okay. Um, so you've talked about getting off the road. Yeah. So we've had, we, today, we've had a long conversation about you potentially yeah. ending van life. Yeah. Oh, you want to talk about that? Yeah, I do want All to right. talk about okay. that. I just ran. <laughs> I know, you just sprinted just like high altitude. 25 yards. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so I actually haven't really spoken to a lot of people about this. So lately I've just been feeling maybe it's time to come off the road. Okay. I think I was craving a little bit more of um, stability. Sure. I um, mean, and granted, we have stability in the road as well. You can. Just, right. You can definitely have it. I just feel like I've been craving it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And um, I know I dated last year. It wasn't very successful. Okay. Um, but after my grieving process and the things that I have allowed myself to overcome this year, sure. I've learned more about myself. Sure. I, like, love who I am finally. Um, I feel confident to date again. Yeah. Um, and so I feel like... And I know from experience that dating is just a little easier. In a standard um, location. In, yeah. Yeah. In a standard location. Like yeah. In a home. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So I guess that's what's pulling me in that direction right okay. now. That's fair. Um, I envy all of those couples on the road. I think they're amazing. And I yeah. do. I envy them. Yeah. Um, I think my wants have changed. Sure. But I'm not really sure. But that yeah. is a little bit of where I'm... Okay. I'm leaning. Sometimes okay. I get like, I don't want to be alone I, all forever. But it's also interesting, <laughs> like during our conversation today, you've been like, you've kind of gone back and forth. You're I like, know, like yeah, maybe I'll get a spot and then I'll like be really like bored and want to go back out on the road. So, well, that's my, I told you that the other day. Too. Yeah. I was like, you know, I'm afraid that when I get home, I'm going to be like, I want to go back to van life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know that because I've been traveling for so long yeah. that like, I'm not going to stop. Yeah, yeah. But I've sac we do on the road sacrifice a lot, mm -hmm. and relationships is one of them, and I For think sure. that I deserve one now. That's totally fair. <laughs> and I want one. 100%. I'm ready for it. Yeah. And I'm ready to give to somebody what they deserve. Yeah, that opportunity. And, and, right, and I didn't have that okay. last year. That's, you know? that's fair, completely. Yeah. And I get it. Um, yeah. Question number seven. Uh, what is your rig? Who built it? And why did you choose it to live a life on the road? Yeah. Okay. So I actually didn't know too much about a lot of rigs when okay. I was going into it. I knew it was just going to be me and my dogs. Um, and I have a 2000 Ford Super Duty E350. Yep. It's a big boy. Badass um, engine. V10 engine. Yep, exactly. He's large. Bigger than I thought. I was like, what is this? This thing is huge. Um, it's a bulletproof engine. Yeah. No, I love it. It rides yep. really well. Mm -hmm. um, his name is Charlie. I just love him. Nice. And It is a low top. Yeah. It's a low top. Not many low tops. No. Yeah. Not many. But you make it work. Oh, yeah. And you make it work with two really big dogs. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Well, we're kind of a little little human, sort of. Of course. Um, and But they don't want to be inside. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, they don't want to be inside unless it's raining or it's nighttime. Yeah. Um, but I built it out myself. It's amazing. Yeah. That's really? the most amazing part about it. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I did everything. Yeah. From, like, installation to the build-up. We can't, we can't deal with that. Can you hear that? Because I can hear it after a while. I mean, it's fine. Do you think you should regulate them next time? No, it's fine. <laughs> Should we get him? I mean, if you want to. Do you think so? It's up to yeah. you. Do you want to try? It's up to you. Go for it. You want me to leave yeah. and go get him? <laughs> no, you're going to sit there. I went out last <laughs> Your mic's still on. I understand. <laughs> you want to come? Do you want to come play? I to work. Do you want to come play? Hi. Hi, come here. It's Hold really on. Nice having somebody else take care of you can come play. Do you think it'll be chill? No, but... <laughs> Maybe if he's with his brother, he'll be fine. You think? 
you guys can play, but you can't go anywhere. Can I let him go? Where are you gonna let him go? Well, like just let the leash go? Sure. Okay. He's probably gonna come to me, you know, right? That's fine. Okay, come on, sit down. Okay, come on, sit. Look at Kenji. Okay, let's go see. Sit. You look great. <laughs> you look great, Bubba. You can sit down. Sit, baby. Sit. Baby, he's probably gonna sit by you. Good job, baby. Okay. Um. Okay, so your rig, what year was it? 2000. 2000. Um, yeah. Why that rig? Um, honestly, it was Wait, like and actually, you mentioned something before I ran to my rig. Uh, Are you out of breath? No, I'm not out of breath. <laughs> um, I completely lost my train of thought. Um, you mentioned, no, 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 you mentioned, um, no, I have no idea what I was going to say. You mentioned you did not do a lot of research mm -mm. prior to on rigs, which I think is interesting for somebody yeah. that like had a picture of a rig on her computer. No, it's not for somebody like me. Okay. I'm a very, <laughs> I'm pretty much like, um, when I decide I want to do something, yeah. I just do it. Okay, that's fair. Um, and a lot of people don't know when I'm going to do things. So, um, and a lot of times it's, it's pretty much the way I do it or the way I learn and okay. I make mistakes, yeah, plenty. Yeah. Okay. Um, so actually, so you had no rigs. desire to like research rigs, find out what rig might suit you best. Um, I, I mean, I did look at a few. Okay. Let's be honest, I definitely did. I wasn't okay. like just like, well, this is a great one. Okay. Pretty, but let's do it. Yeah, yeah. I definitely looked through a lot. I looked through what um, would be best for me. VWs were just a little too small for me. Mm -hmm. Obviously, for me, it'd be great. Yeah. Babies, no. Yeah. I also didn't want to having a foreign car in the past i know what the hell what it goes through dude i can't again yeah maintenance so, on a ps i can't expensive right so i also knew like that wasn't for me either sure um and then i found i looked i, I saw a few like i went and saw a couple like there was like no thank you i had a guy be like it's great it's all set up you just need a brand new door <laughs> i'm like are you crazy like we're good okay. um so i went through a lot and then this one just happened to like land in my lap and like i've told you he was um going to build out his yeah. own rig and yeah, yeah. his life happened so it fell in my hands that's awesome and yeah. for a pretty good price it was just a perfect timing kind just, of perfect moment yeah it was pretty yeah. much like meant for me yeah there and you go. then um yeah everything just kind of fell into place i love it the build that was so fun yeah. i've never used so many tools in my entire life it was like the coolest thing ever. I'm like a member, yeah. a regular at Home Depot. <laughs> I was like there nine it. times a day. Yeah, yeah. It was cool. Nice. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Uh, and then question number eight is what is your best bathroom? Number one or two, number two story from Life on the Road. I mean, I don't like the word best because like definitely not a great story. No. Um, I didn't, I didn't, okay, I was kidding. I'm going to force you to come up, God, or I'm like going to force you to. A, it's just like a, ter I, the experience, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to force you to tell me something you told me earlier, because I think it's Wait, hilarious. Which one? What? No, 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 I want you to tell your story first. Okay. Because it's, rel your story's relevant to the question. Okay. Um, this was, um, I was actually in a pit toilet at a campsite, mm -hmm. a BLM campsite, and I had to go really bad. I, I bring them in with me. They sit by the door. Um, cause it's just disgusting in there. <laughs> Tail shot. <laughs> exactly. Come sit. Do you have to sit by you? Yeah. Come sit. Come here. Um, Come here. Come sit. Right here. Okay. And anyway, I went to go to the washroom. I opened the lid sit and it, sit I sat down and I didn't notice that it was like legit ready to overflow. Oh, no. I'm going to the bathroom. It's all splashing back at me. Like oh, you're feeling no. like, and in your mind, by the way, that's just not mine. Yeah. It's like, mm, yeah. Mm, 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 oh no. Mm. All of it on me. Okay. And I was the one to push the button. This is this is the first pit toilet story oh, on the show. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, man. It's pretty amazing. Well, this one overflowed. I was, yeah. the, I was the pusher over. Yeah. That's... And then it was like literally shit. Come here. Everywhere. Literally. <laughs> so, it's but really then bad. the one thing that I thought, and we talked about this before, mm -hmm. um, which I'm amazed about is uh -huh. like, and, and I say this all the time on the show, is like you're not a true van lifer to you've peed on your floor or have had uh, pee on your floor. I'm you've, not. You've never I'm had not, pee on no, your floor. No, no. Honest. It's amazing. I've never peed on the floor. <laughs> but you've never like spilled your pee jug no. or spilled, you know, a pee cup or no. a pee bottle. And I've peed in a solo cup. I know. <laughs> you told me that. And I was like, you must have not had to have gone I'm very sure much. it like rimmed it. Right? Yeah. 
Oh, here are the party, children. Party. Just don't knock over the camera. Party's over. Just don't knock over the camera. Party's over. You got a skit sketch. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I'm glad you think so. Okay. It's perfect. Uh, yeah, I've so look. Oh, I've ruined. A, oh, I've well, you can. Story. I don't care. Like ruining bottles. It is what it is. But a solo cup is not a large vessel. I mean, it was the first thing I had right there, <laughs> and I had to go. You know what I mean? It was like. I know. Quick... I'm just so surprised it did not fill hmm. and overflow onto no. your floor like I mean, was... every other van life around the planet. Think, for real? Every person has no. said, I have peed on my floor. I've never peed on the floor yet. It's, or at least I'm, spilled maybe I will. pee on their floor. I've never I've never done that. That's impressive. They've never even peed anywhere near the floor. Well, that's impressive. Well, that is but, great, right? I yeah. Agree. I mean, no, yeah. they're he good puppy dogs. That's a brand new everything. Yeah, that's well, it's insane. gone at this point. Um, yeah, no, no, I'm excited about that. That is. Or should I break it no. and pee on the floor? No, I mean, okay. I... I I think you should be proud of that. Thank you. You know, that yeah. is impressive. I have 100% spilled my pee jug on my floor. I would have much rather have spilled the pee jug on the floor than had everybody else's shit all over me. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. I actually think that's a very yeah, valid win. statement. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your story is way worse. Yes, You're right. Disgusting. So the best test. Yes. Be removed. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, question number nine mm-hmm. is what is the happiest mm-hmm. and what has been the hardest moments of your life living on the road? Okay. Happiest moments, I would have to say, is uh, obviously is, is meeting new people. Okay. I think it's really wonderful to have that connection with people. Sure. Um, especially people who understand you and just, like, don't judge your life. Mm-hmm. They just get it. I think it's so rewarding. Mm-hmm. The hardest times is I struggle with anxiety. Okay. So I have a... Sometimes I have, like, major anxiety. Yeah. And it'll, like... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Speaking of anxiety, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and it'll it'll be debilitating. I mean, yeah. it can it can take me over emotionally and kind of make me feel uncomfortable, not only in my skin but in my space. Sure. Um, and so, learning how to overcome that and using like the tools that I have mm-hmm. um, have been difficult but rewarding. Yeah. But like that We've is talked a lot about meditation. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I meditate. It's been my um, saving grace. Yeah. Meditation, journaling, um, gratitude. It's been yeah. really. Um, it's my medicine, sure. really. Yeah. How do you think <laughs> that will change coming off the road? No, it won't ever change. So I started, med- started meditating. No, 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 not meditation. Oh, my coolness. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that goes without saying. Clearly. Uh, but the anxiety. Like, the anxiety on the road is very different from the anxiety living yeah. in a stationary city yeah. or in an apartment right. or in a condo, house, whatever. So... You know, the the types of anxiety that we deal with and the level of kind of anxiety that we deal with is very different from living in a stationary city. 100%. So, um, I like that question. I do think that um, I will have yeah. anxiety. Because, I mean, if I think about, like, being just in a home, I get anxious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the thought of it kind of That's why makes... I'm asking the question. Yeah, because you want me to be anxious? Well, no, because I'm you just... You want me anxious. I'm, no, I'm just curious because you've talked about <laughs> you it again. Know. Like, this is something that, like, you've openly said, like, I want to come off the road, but yet I know in the back of my head, as soon as I get stationary, I'm going to want to go back on You're the road. Right. Because I know that yeah. is true. Um, so I'm trying to find, like I said earlier, I'm kind of trying to find a balance of, mm-hmm. like, having a home and then having, like, a rig okay. that, like, allows me to go out, like, in, like, a truck pop-up. Right, yeah, like, yeah. a weekend so I can, like, get my fix. I'm, this is who I am. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not changing this part of me. Yeah. I think I just, maybe in my mind, I think that what I want is only attainable in a home. Sure. And, like, maybe that's what I'm thinking. And that's fair. And it could be. But, but I also but, love the fact that you're still holding on to, like, this is you. I want to I wanna still be able to be nomadic, even if it's short-term. Totally. Even if it's part-time. For sure. Yeah, yeah. This is who I am. And I've already lost myself <laughs> in <laughs> previous relationships. In of situations course. and I know I'll never do that again. Yeah. So like keep this part of me, you know. Yeah. I'm an earth, I'm a Taurus, I'm an earth sign. Yes. Like this is our yeah. This is this is the how space. we live. Yeah. You yeah. Know? I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. And it makes sense. Like I'm I'm excited for you in a sense that like you've said that the happiest is just being a part of this community oh, yeah. and like, you know, meeting other people. And that you don't want to necessarily let go of that. No. Like, you know, where, this yes, you want to settle down because you want to meet somebody maybe for yourself personally, mm. but you still want to, you still want to go out and weekend and be a part of And I also want to travel. understand. Like, yeah. I don't want to have to explain my van life to people. Yeah. You know, if I have to do that too much, I think to myself, like, 
you don't have, you don't, nobody, you don't owe anybody an explanation. Like, mm. you don't have to, like, explain yourself and your lifestyle to people. Granted, if they're interested, cool. Yes. Like, that's cool. But for people to be like, why? I, or, I actually know? love that statement that you just made. And it's, it's more for people that are curious about van life or that are thinking about van life is, yeah, you don't have to explain yourself Mm-mm. as to why you want to go do this. Mm-mm. Like, just trust in the fact that, like, this is something that you desire and go do it. Right. Yeah. Don't listen to all the all the noise in the background. No way. But yeah. just in life in general, too, yeah. right? You don't have, owe anybody an explanation. For sure. Like, your life is for you to understand and mm-hmm. not for anybody else. Yeah. Like, once I, like, grasped that and, like, lo- like was like, I could, this is it. This is what I can use. Like, right. this is an amazing tool to use. It's, like, freedom. Sure. Like, I don't know you nothing. Like, yeah. This is my life. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, <laughs> I'm going to live it how right. I want. I'm good. And you realize, like, a lot of people are actually, like, just curious or, yeah. like, envious. Yes. Not actually judging. Yes. In a way. Yeah. But this community is extremely, like, no other. It's special. Mm-hmm. It's a special place to be. Yeah. I mean, I, and again, like, I've lived all over the country. I've, you know, traveled quite a bit growing up and moved to city to city to city to city and yeah this community is so different than every community that I've ever been a part of and it's very very special it you know it's there is just something different about the nomadic community that is that is truly um yeah it's it it's it's good people. It's good people. It's like where do all the good people go? Yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. They're traveling <laughs> They're in nomads. rigs. Exactly. They're yeah. nomads. Yeah. Uh, we'll roll right into the last question. Question ten is what is or define hashtag van life in your own words, and then provide a piece of advice for somebody wanting to live a life on the road. Okay, so hashtag van life has become very overused. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, I Don't just feel apologize like it's for lo- that. I kind of feel like it's just lost. Like it's the passion through it, yeah. like where we were really like, wow, we're really doing this. It's like our life, hashtag van life. And now it's like a trend type yeah. of thing. Yeah, for sure. Um, but what I think it, it means is somebody who is really willing to take on different risks mm-hmm. to live in a different environment and to put themselves in uncomfortable but thrilling um, experiences and yeah. positions in life. I, I think it's a great definition. Yeah, I think it's, sure. it's a good way for us to grow as people, expand yeah. our horizons, and just like learn more about what is not taught to us. Yeah, like, well. Drilled into our brains, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a different form of living at right. the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Like this nomadic lifestyle is a different uh, form of way of life, mm-hmm. you know, but at the same time, yeah, and again, the hashtag is the hashtag. Like, I mean, it's a hashtag. Yeah, but it's also find us, you guys. But it's also sadly, you know, a way to have research van life sure. or get information. My you profile know. has hashtag van life. Yeah, of course, it. we all use it. Like, <laughs> and, and I again, I wrote the question kind of the way I did, and it's sort of tongue in cheek. Mm. Um, but we all use it. For sure, we make fun of it. We don't really care no, I mean, for it or be like honest it. Honest about it. 100%. I mean, it is what we use it. Yes, but if you think about it, like. It's being overused a little yes. bit, and it's being used in like a different way, yes. almost. And we're gonna live. So, we're gonna use. I live in a van more now. We're than gonna be using. I live in a van now. Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and what my advice do I give yeah, people? Piece of advice. Do it. Yeah. Like who want to try it? Or yeah, who just anybody like a piece of advice for somebody thinking about wanting to live a life. From oh, the I say. Um, Try it. Like, why? What? Go for it. Yeah. Take one step. Like, yeah. why wouldn't you? If it's not for you, why don't you try it? It's cool. Go back to where you started. Like, you have nothing to lose. Yeah, I yeah. feel like it's a beautiful blessing if you absorb it the way you should. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you'll love it. And if you don't, cool. Yeah. Do your thing. Go it, back to go live the way you want. Yeah. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. <laughs> it is not for everybody. That's for sure. We actually talked about this a little earlier yeah, today. Not. Is, it is not an easy lifestyle. It's something that I express, mm-hmm. try and express in every episode is that this is a hard life. Very. Like we, you have a lot of challenges, whether it's mental health, whether it's mm-hmm. being alone or whether it's simple daily tasks of finding water or sure. getting rid of your trash. I or, mean, or it's like rainy and, days or like muddy yeah, spots. Yeah, exactly. Like, just, You've been sitting in rain for yeah, three days. Right. Like, you know, it's a challenge with two dogs. Yeah. Go get your brother. Or your brother should come get you. Yeah, that's true too. Those cows are probably out eating. <laughs> come here. Come over here. Come over here. Come come, mama. Come here. Come. Come here. Here he comes. Okay. We're gathering the puppy dogs. The uh, children. The children. Uh, that is your 10 questions. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> this is perfect. Just don't hit the camera, Tell please. Me. <laughs> it's a $12,000 shot right there. <laughs> um, 
Thank you for doing this. Yeah, thank you for having me. No, this has been amazing. I really appreciate it. And we're going to go make dinner and walk these dogs. Yep. And then, yeah, we'll see you on the next episode. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And, yeah, we'll see you on the next we episode. We love you guys. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> you're just perfect, right? Just, in the middle of the shot. Like just right in the middle of the shot. Oh, I know. You're just so loud. Just so loud. I'm filthy. What happened to your face? Just so loud. <laughs> just so loud. Is that how you want to say? You want to say goodbye? Do you want to say bye? Do you want to say goodbye? Kyle, do you want to say goodbye? Come, Mama. Come say goodbye. All right. Oh, my oh. goodness. Oh, say goodbye. Come. Come here. Come oh, here. Oh, now you don't want to come here? <laughs> you can say goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye. Oh. Come here. Kyle, come. You're all nice about it. Come here. <laughs> Calavra, come. On. Cal, I'm not kidding. Sit down. Good, good, good. Okay, that's working. Um, I cool. actually love it without your sunglasses. sunglasses if you can yeah, stomach 100%. it. Yeah, 100%. I, I, I won't. I mean, I'd it's rather just, as well. It's just, I know we're staring right into the sun, and that's brutal, but. I could do it. Okay. I could do it. I swear. Which I'm kind of now like starting to go away from like these, the rig shots, which was always like my, how I started it, but. Um, which makes sense. You know? Yeah. And, and some of them are, it's like worth it to do that. Right. But then like Blakely's episode, we were just in like Northern Moab and we were up on kind of the ridge line. Right, right, it was yeah. super beautiful. And I was like, let's just walk up this hill and see if we can find something. Yeah. And we found a cool spot. And then a couple others I've done that way. I and feel like um I probably should have put you over here. I feel bad now. But why? Because oh, you're sun? staring straight in the sun. I mean it's okay. I'll just Um but yeah, it doesn't matter. You can look either direction. Cheers. Cheers. Amazing. Thank you for doing yeah. this. Yeah. Just is what it is. I mean, it's my fault. I was an idiot. that one was my fault. I was an idiot. The others, the camera just fucking has a mind of its own. By the way, I don't edit shit, just so you what? know. What? Yeah, I don't edit a thing. What are you talking about? So from the second we start the show till the second we sign off, nothing gets cut, nothing gets changed, nothing gets edited. Wait, so can we go? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, nope, I'm out. out. <laughs> and I'm out. Oh, really? You, you can play now, you can go play. Can go, oh, oh, oh my goodness, you can go play. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Kisses, thank you, kisses, thank you, kisses. Wow. That'll be perfect.